Hi. Hi. We finished the uh, the basement project with all the black mold and rotten wood. It really sucked. Yesterday we had a very, very unforeseen circumstance happened and I took care of it right away and completely restored the underneath of my RV. Christian's going to translate for me today because I'm, uh, I'm in a bad mood. I am tired. I'm sore. Uh, but today I get to work on a fun project. Christian's going to translate for me today because I'm not feeling on the up and up and I could use a little bit of motivation and a higher octave of voice. Today we're really excited to tackle the best project ever, replacing the flooring in our entire RV. I've already gotten started. Uh, it was a slow start. Had to go run, pick up tools, took an extra hour. I've gotten started today and I'm so excited. I even actually got the opportunity to purchase some extra tools to be able to make this entire project easier and it's going much faster than I expected. Yeah. Uh, so, in all seriousness, today we are working on flooring. We bought tons of uh, vinyl plank flooring that I'm installing today. Uh, it's actually going pretty well. It's going to look really, really awesome. It is going to look nice. And it'll be nice to get a productive project done instead of just fixing something that's broken. So we actually chose the Life Proof brand of vinyl plank flooring from Home Depot. Um, there were a few reasons that we chose to go with vinyl plank flooring. Um, but one thing in particular that I want to talk about happens to be the ease of installation. Um, these vinyl plank floors are really, really nice because they work with a click-like system. So the flooring clicks into place with these grooves. And the way that it clicks in, it makes an air-tight, water-tight seal on the seams. And it really, really gives the flooring um, a protection against water. I mean, when we're talking about living in an RV and what we just went through with the underneath compartment of the RV, um, being waterproof is gonna be imperative. And it also has the underlayment included on the vinyl pieces. Um, so there is really nothing that you have to do to pre, there's nothing that you have to do to pre prep with the floor. Um, and there's nothing that goes on underneath the floor before installation. So being able to install the flooring right on top of the plywood subflooring was a huge, huge benefit. Um, because working with underlayment is always a real pain. I say that like I've done it many times. I've never actually done it, but it looks like it would be a real pain. <laughs> All right, flooring is coming right along. Um, I've got my awesome dad working on a separate project. I think he wanted to help me with the flooring, but just being in an RV that spaces is tight, kind of running over each other. So I've got him installing the crown molding uh, in the master uh, bedroom. So two projects getting done at the same time. That's a beautiful thing. Also, I think it's worth mentioning that I have tried cutting uh, the angles for crown molding before, and I've never, ever done it right. Like, ever. So I'm really glad he's working on that. He's he's the kind of guy who will pull the calculator out and start doing things right, and I, I just start cutting things uh, until it works. So I'm glad he's working on that precision project.
is this something that could have been done at an RV park? Yeah, but having some of these power tools around is really, really helpful. So you want to know something gross? That is, uh, that's where the toilet goes. And right below that, without any kind of check valve or anything, is just the black tank. Um, if you don't know what a black tank is, is it's just, it's a evil holding tank full of poop and pee. Um, I've got some paper towels stuffed down into that hole. I'll be honest, it's not really doing anything because it smells horrible in here. Um, so I'm excited to get that toilet back on and get this smell out. I've got the windows open, but it's like humid and hot today and it's just like holding the smell in. It's really gross. Okay, now I'm really glad to be here because if we are at an RV park trying to do this work, there would just be no outside space to get any work done. Here I've got a nice covered workshop. Uh, this would not be getting done. The beginning of day three of flooring. Last night I finished the master bedroom up there and uh, the day before that I finished the kids room. So now it is time for the main living area and it is a <laughs> disaster. Yeah, so the plan was to come here to my parents to get uh, the kids' bunk room done, and it is just turned into a whole fifth wheel remodel. I mean, there's not really anything that we're not touching here. <laughs> so everything is getting done, which is good. And I like getting it all done in one shot like that, but man, what an undertaking. Demo time. When 90% uh, when of your home is trafficked every day and 60% of that flooring is carpet, that carpet gets really gross really fast, especially when you have a dog. Correction, especially when you have kids. I got the, the carpet out of here. This reflective stuff is just the, the underlayment material that was already there. And I think I'm going to keep that in place. The flooring says not to use underlayment, but this, the, right, you know, an inch below the, fl the surface of this floor is open air. So we need some insulative properties. Uh, and I, I think this reflective material will help slightly. So I'm just going to keep it.
Well, we did find a little bit of water damage. Um, and the only reason we were checking here was because just in this strip right here, um, there's some soft spots. Uh, but we're gonna find, it's not damp that I feel. So we're gonna look underneath, see what's under there. And we'll have to replace at least this section of decking before we can put the new flooring on. Well, I was kind of procrastinating on this because I just didn't want to deal with it, but we have to rip up those soft floors before we can put down the new flooring. When we did cut out a small square right there, we peeled it up and there's some mold on the, on the, the back side. The insulation underneath is still light and fluffy, not compacted by water, so I don't think it was really a leak. Um, the insulation that went further in underneath towards the edge of the fifth wheel it was uh, legitimately damp. It is very humid here and it just cooled down. So my guess is that that insulation is just kind of soaking up uh, condensation against the I-beam of the frame of the RV. So I guess we're just gonna cut out what we absolutely have to and replace it with new decking. Uh, I don't really know how to prevent this in the future because if it is condensation, I feel like that's just the cost of doing business. I, I don't know. So yesterday was spent taking out all this rotten flooring. Uh, all I wanted to do was find out what was causing some soft spots and boy that I have uncover a problem. Today I have to take out this entertainment center to get at the flooring uh, right there because uh, all that wood is molded and rotting as well so got to take that out. But then it'll be done. It'll all be done. The flooring will be better than new because the leak will be fixed. The leak from the factory will be fixed. So this is all in all a good thing. Okay, so I got the uh, this entertainment center pulled away from the wall um, so that I could get that one last strip of wood that has not been replaced. Um, I was interested to see what was going on over there because on the... Uh, entry door side of the RV we have this leak caused by insufficient uh, sealing uh, sealant put on the underside of the RV by the manufacturer so let's go check out the other side of the RV and see what's going on over there so going in from between the bathroom wall and the art entertainment center that I pulled away from the wall Let's take a look. So we can already see the exact same distance forward to back. Uh, a little bit of mold, staining, what could that be? Oh my gosh, let me turn on my headlamp so you can see. Look at all that mold. The worst part about this spot is that it is um, under this rat's nest of HVAC, plumbing, electrical, and what appears to be the main furnace itself. So <sighs> there's just a lot of work to be done here. So the uh, this plywood is not only screwed down, but it's uh, secured to the frame with adhesive. So it's super hard to just rip up. Uh, so I'm just kind of having to beat my way through. And I'm, I'm just tapping. Look at that. Well, it was about a solid 25 hours worth of work, but all the rotten subfloor has been replaced with new decking. Um, and I've already started on the new flooring on the main slide and the, uh, the main living area. 
Um, my plan is to get all of the flooring, the new flooring done uh, today, uh, minus some of the trim work, so that we can start putting stuff back in place because we have five days left before our first reservation starts, so we need to leave here. Uh, and I just want to have everything done, like everything. So, time to get to work. So as of the filming of this clip, uh, we have been done with the remodel for about three days now. Uh, so here is what we've come to find out about that life-proof vinyl plank flooring with the included underlayment. I'm going to take you inside to take a look at the flooring, but I don't want to show you too much because we haven't shown you the whole remodel yet. And there, I mean, nothing stayed the same. Absolutely nothing. I don't know what you can see right now, but everything changed. So I'm going to try and keep the frame of the picture just on flooring. So here's, here's what I don't like about the flooring. Can you hear that? Okay, so it's actually really noisy. Now, is that the problem of the flooring manufacturer, LifeProof? I don't really think so. I mean, I don't think they ever intended for their products to be put into an RV. And RVs have got this subfloor that's just plywood, uh, not much else. So there's a lot more flex than what the manufacturer ever really intended for the flooring to be installed on. So is that the problem with, is that a problem with the flooring? No, I don't think so. Uh, is that a problem of the combination of the flooring and the RV being put together? Yeah. It is. But we knew there was going to be a little bit louder taking out all that uh, carpet. So we did add some area rugs, which has helped tremendously. Um, another issue with having n no carpet in, in a RV is that RVs are heavily trafficked, especially full-time living. So a lot of the uh, a lot of the dirt and debris that you just track in through the course of a day, it gets everywhere and it there's nowhere for it to hide. Um, except for area rugs. Now, if you're a neat freak, I mean, that can be a great thing because you can sweep it all out. It just doesn't hide debris as well. So what is it that I like about this flooring? Well, here's a seam. You can clearly see it because that's where the, uh, that's where the grain doesn't match. Uh, but that was one plank. Here's another plank. I, I can't even feel that seam. I mean, each piece here the tolerances on it are so tight. I, I don't know how they manufacture this stuff. Now, obviously it's machined with, uh, with computers and high-tech machinery, but I mean, each piece, each piece fits so well. I did uh, a strip over here and then had to skip where the kitchen island was and like it matched up perfectly on the other side of the island. Um, as far as materials to work with when you're doing flooring, this was a dream. Um, it was a little bit tedious, but man, it went together perfectly. So if you have any questions about this flooring or you have experience putting this flooring in, or you have a better flooring option for RVs that maybe doesn't do the creaky noise, let me know in the comments. I'd really appreciate the feedback. Uh, go ahead and give this video a like and a share if you feel like it, that'd be awesome. Um, and join us next time. I'm not really sure what's happening next time. Uh, I've just been filming along the process of the remodel. Um, so I don't know what's coming next time, but I guarantee it, it's gonna be good.